I'm Pete Prisco for CBSSports.com in Davie, Florida, where the Miami Dolphins are having training camp pra practice. Jeff Shane, uh, Dolphins correspondent. Jeff, this team surprised a lot of people last year, went to the playoffs. Uh, some people think they may take a step back, including myself. Your thoughts on that? I think this could actually be a better football team, and because of the schedule, wind up taking a step back. They're playing in one of the toughest divisions in the NFL, and the schedule just completely swaps out. You trade out the Western Division teams, see the Seattles and Kansas Cities of the world, and you bring in the South Division teams, New Orleans, Indianapolis, Tennessee, those type of teams. So the schedule is going to make a big uh, impact on this team. Can we please let the Wildcat go away? I, I can't stand the offense. It's nothing but a gimmick. Uh, you have a quarterback, the game is meant to be played in the pocket, and yet they're going to use the Wildcats some more. Well, it, it is certainly something that has been the talk, not only of this training camp, but of elsewhere in the NFL. I'm sure you're seeing that, where every team seems to want to try to do something with it. This what the Dolphins are doing, we don't know because they've only shown five Wildcat type plays and three of them have been practically the same play. They're going to do all of that under wraps, but I can't imagine that they're going to get away from it when it was so successful for them last year. Yeah, and watching Pat White throw here, uh, I hope they're not counting on that to be a big part of the Wildcat. He struggled. He is struggling. He's having to ad adapt to becoming an NFL type quarterback. And uh, because of that, I think the learning curve is going to be very slow for him. Everything in college was from the shotgun. He was able to take the deeper read. Now he's having to, to do all of the things that an NFL quarterback as a rookie has to do with the addition of learning how to be an NFL quarterback instead of a college read quarterback. You know what I do like about this team is the way uh, they're building their lines up. I mean, you're talking about two powerful uh, tackles on the offensive line. Defensively, the young uh, defensive ends are going to be good players. I think they're strong on both lines, and that's where you want to build this team. It really is, and I think that was a big emphasis, uh, not only building last year's team, but even this year because they went out and they got Jake Grove, a, cent a center who's uh, just extolled around the league for his leadership ability. I think he's really brought that offensive line together, and there's a lot of young guys on the defensive front that that are starting to come together. Uh, you've obviously uh, got Kendall Lankford, who has uh, been probably the one that has uh, come along the greatest, but you've still got Philip Merling, you've got Randy Starks, you've got uh, Tony McDaniel. So a lot of young guys that I think we're going to see a lot more of this year. Two concerns with me. Playmakers on offense. Ted Ginn, he needs to take his game to the next level. And then defensively, your pass rushers are older guys in Porter and Taylor. they got to be concerns going into the season. I think they have to be concerns, but at least from what we have seen in camp, that Porter and Taylor are on top of their games. Jason Taylor has really been a disruptor in this camp. There isn't a practice that goes by, hardly, where you don't see him making a sack in 11-on-11, getting an arm up, knocking a ball down. I think him coming in and signing for... Uh, for the minimum and then being put on the second team behind Matt Roth, uh, it was just enough to give him some motivation and now with Roth out with, uh, with his Ill injury illness problems, uh, Taylor has really stepped up and come in and, and done very well. Uh, there isn't going to be an age uh, question, definitely, but when Roth gets back uh, and they've got Cameron Wade, who is a big terror in the CFL, with, if they can develop him, I think they'll be okay. That's like one of the great myths in the world, Cameron Wake, all over the offseason, Cameron Wake, Cameron Wake. And by the way, the Dolphins don't have anything to worry about. they got Bill Parcells, and he's the man who invented the game of football. For Jeff Shane, I'm Pete Prisco for CBSSports.com.